What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to WWE 2K20 AI Universe Mode. This is RAW IS WAR Week 13. history each and every week we have tremendous action but i believe this week is looking like one of and those we are coming to you from we'll oslo norway i'm just gonna say norway because i probably will not remember the name of the town but nonetheless gonna kick off raw's war week 13 with i believe a debuting million dollar man ted dibiase going one on one with the glorious million dollar champion robert rude you got the creator of the million dollar championship going up against uh the man who now holds that same exact title here we go kicking off raw is war week 13 dibiase versus rude Kicking off with a million dollar man and the million dollar champion, Rude. Successful, actually no, not successfully, uh, the million dollar title match against uh, Hulk Hogan at uh, Super Showdown ended in a double count out, therefore, Robert Rude, still the champion. You know, Ted DiBiase wants nothing more than to get a victory over the man, Jesus, that holds the title he created to possibly get a shot at holding what uh, he would probably consider to be his title. Dragon Rude to the center of the ring, early cover here. One, and Rude with the shoulder up. And look at the million dollar man cutting corners as always. Up onto the shoulders. And rude face first into the turnbuckle. Ooh. Brutal kick to the gut. And DiBiase has rude up in a powerbomb position into the fireman's carry. But rude escaping that situation off the ropes and beautiful snap power slam Ooh, brutal body shot. shot to the gut onto the shoulders a rude TKO and DiBiase rolling to the outside count of 20 and as usual I will only accept one count uh, one match per show ending in count out into the apron goes DiBiase Forearm and look at DiBiase spilling into the crowd. And there, <laughs> this Norway crowd getting up close and personal with the action. Ref up to a five count, and there's a backbreaker. 
match against the two Ooh, of you, shot I'm right to the jaw. Throwing rude all the way across the ringside area. And DiBiase is cocky as ever. And oh, face first into the floor goes rude. And we are halfway to the 20 count. Shoving rude down to the floor. And oh, face first into the ring post. And back into the squared circle we go. Byron, given how lethal the million dollar drink was. Kick to the back of the knee, and oh, DiBiase, Dream Street connecting. The move of his son, Ted DiBiase Jr., one, two, no. Rude kicking out at 2.9. Shot to the face, shot across the chest. And look at DiBiase raking the face across the top rope. Into the backbreaker, and DiBiase is taking Rude apart. And a glorious one, dropping the elbow, but there's a kick to the face by DiBiase. Oh, Jesus! Lariat to the back of the neck. Vicious. Can he make him pay? A shot to the ribs. And the second one. And DiBiase gut wrench suplex. This could be huge. Fucking up the million dollar champ for the old school vertical suplex. And we roll into the outside. Throwing DiBiase right back into the ring. Shot to the face. Into the turnbuckle goes rude. Back elbow. And kick to the spot. Now ripping at the shoulder of the million dollar man. This has been a great match thus far, and I believe we should be getting towards the end here. I don't think these men can take much more. Fireman's carry. Into the turnbuckle goes Rude, and DiBiase busted open by the elbow of Rude. But he's still fighting. The glorious what, Cole? DB. Oh! Shot right to the face. Oh, and DiBiase now gouging at the eyes. He's been doing that the entire match. Oh. DiBiase looking to put Rude away once again. Dream Street knockout. DiBiase with a victory over the million dollar champ. A valuable moment right here from the million dollar champ. Here is your winner, the million dollar man. Brought his A game as you can see here. DiBiase. And what a debut for the Million Dollar Man, and there's the cold hard cash. I want to see, what are you going to do with it, Teddy? You know what he's going to do, shoves it in the... 2K20, people. <laughs> Moving on in the evening, and up next... We have a Super Showdown rematch. Paige um, achieving victory over Asuka extremely quickly. Uh, I think regaining the Raw Women's Championship. But tonight, once again, the title is on the line. Here we go. The challenger Asuka, the champion Paige. 
one on one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Look, I know that supposedly no one was ready for Asuka, but it's been over it. This is her house. It's her title. To this day, Paige is the only person. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan. And introducing the champion from Norwich, England, the Raw Women's Champion, Paige! We're about to see which woman will we the go. Out here. Hopefully the Empress of Tomorrow is better prepared for this one-on-one -on -one encounter because Paige beat her at the pay-per-view, like, I would say two minutes maybe by submission as well I don't know uh, Asuka I guess just offer a game I don't know but the, the bell sounds raw Rams. women's title women's titles defended in the on the WWE line as early as the very first Wrestlemania in 1985 but the competition has become even more heated over the last three years as the women's the neck the surgically repaired neck of Paige and here's Paige Going for it. Into the turnbuckle goes Asuka. Going for the suplex, but Asuka escaping. Asuka turns it around. Now, uh oh, oh Asuka locking in the guillot. Oh, sorry, guillotine. It's in deep. But no, the strength of Paige oh, sending Asuka spine Michael. first into the mat. Here we go. Now Paige hooking the leg for the fisherman suplex. Nice. Shot to the midsection. Oh, spinning back fist. Asuka. With a snap suplex of her own. Spinning kick to the gut. Now Asuka slingshot falcon arrow. Beautiful move Page by the challenger. Move Here comes Paige. Oh. Every time I'm about to say what move just happened, Cole or Byron is always like saying it right when I do, and it throws me off. Shut up, Cole and Byron. Ooh. Vicious headbutt by Paige. Cover. One. And Asuka with the shoulder up at one. And now Paige with the backbreaker. Russian leg sweep connecting. And a second Russian leg sweep putting Asuka down. Paige is really going to work in there. She is on fire. 
into the northern light. Asuka getting rocked by the champion. Now Paige sending Asuka over the top to the floor. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Bringing it back into the ring. Back into the ring we go. Lifting Asuka to her feet. Uh-oh. And Paige with the Paige Turner. Hooking the leg. One. And only a one count. Too soon. I don't know why it's not available, but whatever. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I hope no one watching realizes what I'm trying to do, because I tried it at the pay-per-view and it didn't work for some reason. Asuka being sent to the outside, and Paige looks like she is ready to fly. Off the rope, suicide dive, taking Asuka out. And Norway is satisfied with this amazing Raw Women's Championship match. Oh, vicious chop to the chest. Oh, going for the super kick. Asuka moved out of the way. Throwing to the face. Oh, hooking her up. Fisherman suplex on the floor. And now a snap suplex on the floor. Oscar receiving so much damage. And into the barricade goes Paige. Now throwing Oscar across the ringside area. Paige back into the ring. Restarting the ref's count. Oh my god, and once again, Fisherman Suplex on the floor. <clears throat> and now a Northern Lights on the floor. And Asuka has gotten in no offense the entire time they've been outside the ring. And believe you me, Asuka is hurt. And Paige looking for it again. Paige Turner. And it has to be over after all that damage received outside of the ring. One, two, three. Paige retaining her title. Take a look at how the Empress was haltered tonight. Paige has made a habit of living with big moves like this. That's Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Paige! And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. I don't know if there's anybody in the back that can actually unseat this dominant and congratulations champion. Congratulations to Paige, still your Raw Women's Champion. We are moving on in the evening, and up next, we've got the bad guy, Scott Hall, Big Sexy, Kevin Nash, the Outsiders, going up against the World Tag Team Champions, Biggie and Xavier Woods of the New Day, being joined by their New Day brethren, the World Heavyweight Champion, Kofi Kingston, at ringside, the entirety of the New Day retaining their titles at Super Showdown, still running. Raw is war. But here we go. The Outsiders, the New Day tag team action. It's a hostile take.
here we go. Scott Hall, Big E, kicking off this tag team match. Here we go, guys. Tag team action and is all three members of the New Day retaining their titles by the absolute skin the of their teeth the at Super Showdown. But the of this in the end, forever. still on top of the mountain. And Jesus, <laughs> what hide on the full Nelson slam. Underhook suplex. And Scott Hall with a quickness grabbing him into the underhook suplex again. Shot to the jaw. Hanging up Big E on the middle rope. Putting pressure, shoving the rope into the throat. And Scott Hall headed to the top rope. Jesus! No, we missed! Missed the mark. He's so close to making the tag here. Oh my god. How did Big E not get the tag? Into the turnbuckle goes Big E. Shot to the face. Grabs Hall by the back of the neck. Bang right in the face. Now. Oh! Scoop slam into the ropes. And then the knee lift. Obliterating the face of the bad guy. Big E onto the apron. What is Scott Hall doing here? I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're meeting on the outside and there's a shoulder tackle. And now Scott Hall is using some psychological warfare. Now Big E sending Scott Hall. No day! Sending Scott Hall down to the floor. Forearm right across the back of the neck. Scott Hall is Kick to the face. Shot right to the spine. And Big E returning with a fist to the ribs. Back and forth we go here in a corkscrew neck breaker. And the bad tour. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. And it's Big E. So it's a eight count into the steel steps goes Scott Hall. Scott Hall turns it around. Kick to the gut. Ten count. We are halfway to the twenty, and Big E now. Sliding with the steps. And oh my god. These two better be careful. Ref getting very close to the 20 count. Up to a 14. 15. 16. 17. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. 18. 18. This is your last chance, Hall. 19. 19. Oh, and Hall breaking the count. Oh, I knew that was wow. Coming. I did not expect that one. It seemed like the bad guy was just toying with Big E out there for a minute. Or he might have been catching his breath. Who knows? Big E in control. That did not last long. Shoulder tackle. Now dropping the elbow on the leg. Ref up to an eight count. And these two ever gonna get back in the ring? Come on, Hall. You've rested enough. 12. Up to a 12 count. And it's Big e, so it's a Shot to the midsection. Oh, no! Oh, scoop slam on the floor. 15. Spike to the arm. 
17. 18. And I believe it will be a double count out. Yes. Oh well. The, A the uh, AI in this game be like that sometimes. We are moving on in the evening. And up next. Oh my god, a legendary rematch. We've got the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Of course, being accompanied by Bobby the Brain Heenan going one on one with Hollywood Hulk Hogan, one of the most historic matchups of all time. I'm sure no true wrestling fan will ever forget when Hogan scoop slammed Andre the Giant. It was just one of the greatest moments in wrestling history, and we might witness it again here tonight. Here we go. Andre Hogan rematch. Things just got too sweet, brother. And here we go, so many years later. Andre and Hogan ready to do battle yet again. Hogan. Oh, and look at Andre starting off with a scoop slam to Hogan. Um, no what, Hogan. Uh, not. Oh, uh, as I said, double count out with Bobby Roode not Andre obtaining the million dollar championship. Andre the Giant coming so close to beating Kofi Kingston for the world title, but man, what a match that was. If you guys didn't see that, go back to the my uh, Super Showdown pay-per-view and watch the main event because Andre refused. Oh, ref eats it. Refused to go down, but in the end, Kofi just had too much heart. And Jesus Christ, Andre, you should not be up there, Andre. And the... Gargantuan superplex. Taking Hogan down. Evading possible disaster there. Shot to the ribs. Or on. Throwing hands here, but Andre with a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Andre the Giant is starting to turn it up now. But he stomps to the chest. Oh my god. Like, my mom met Andre the Giant and she showed me about the side, like how long his foot was, and it is oh, absolutely insane. So I can't even imagine how painful having that big ass foot raked across your face and scoop slam into the ropes. Andre getting his payback for Hogan scoop slamming him. So man, I believe it was WrestleMania three, right? <clears throat> I think so. Look at that. Nothing but scoop slams from the giant. Look at this. Just scoop slam after scoop slam. Andre came here to make his mark on Hogan. Military press slam. And Hogan has just been getting absolutely dominated by the giant thus far. Boom right in the button. 
Shot to the face, Andre Woozy. Snapmare by Hogan. Going after the arm, but Andre with the elbow to the face and the body attack. Five, oh my God. 520 pounds crashing down on the torso of Hogan. And Andre delivering the shots, but uh-oh. He's hulking up, brother. You. And here comes Hogan. Big boot off the ropes and the leg drop. Cover. One. Oh my God. The ref's hand barely hit the mat for a one count. And Andre with a shoulder up after the leg drop. And there's the big boot. Cover. One. I'm telling you, man. I give Kofi all the credit in the world for defeating Andre because it is not easy. And Hogan for the second time. Leg drop. Cover. One. Two. No. And Hogan looks like he is getting frustrated. You can't blame him, man. He just hit Andre with everything he has. And the Giants still getting the shoulder up. And off oh, headbutt. But Hogan with the elbow. And Andre throwing the holster. Woo! What a palm to the chest. Uh oh, and here it comes. Elbow drop. One. Two. Three. Oh. I like that name, Supersized Elbow Drop. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. Backbreaker to Hogan. And these two are tearing the house down here in Norway. And once again, that gargantuan boot across the throat. Oh, abdominal stretch locked in. Hogan close to the ropes, but not able to grasp him. And he's in big trouble, man. No, Hogan with the hip toss, able to escape. Dropping the knee across the spine. Oh, knee lift. And Hogan with the backbreaker into the Russian leg sweep. Where the hell did Hogan get that from? Going for the kick to the gut, but Andre catching the leg and the spine buster. And Andre extremely confident here, as he should be. So ruthless. Now, oh, over 500 pounds across the spine of Hogan. And now just shoving him to the mat. Just showing off the power. But Hogan lifting Andre to his feet. Oh, busting Andre open with that fist. Now, what is this? Oh! Modified neck breaker by Hogan. I didn't know Hogan had all these moves. Digging the knee into the throat. Andre sending Hogan into the turnbuckle. Hogan reversing. Shot to the face. And the bulldog connects. <clears throat> uh oh. Hogan sizing up the giant. Here it is! Scoop slam! And for the third time, leg drop for the knockout. What a match. This is how it looks when David beats Goliath. Man, this was great. Look at him. Here is your winner, Hollywood. Oh. Who can? That's 
And Hogan redeeming himself after that loss at Super Showdown. What a war between these two. But it is time for your main event of Raw is War Week 13. And what a main event it will be. Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. The Great One, The Rock. And the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Also, Mr. Money in the Bank, Brock Lesnar. Triple threat, but not only that. Falls count anywhere. No rope breaks. No countouts. No disqualifications. Pinfall submission and knockout can take place absolutely anywhere on this earth. Three legendary competitors. I'm excited for this main event. Here we go. Things are about to break down real quick. Suplex City, here we come. God, with this main event, I feel like I'm playing uh, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. <clears throat> Amazing game, by the way. Here we go. Triple threat falls count anywhere. Absolutely anything can happen in this one. Look at uh, Eddie Guerrero, hands down the smallest man in the match, but no Eddie lying, cheating, and stealing, and especially in a match with no disqualifications. Uh, Latino Heat's going to be a force to be reckoned with one way or another. Oh, drop kick connecting to both Rock and Lesnar. Now, Rock locking in the abdominal stretch. But Guerrero with the hip toss into a cover while Brock's down. Gets a one count. That was a very clever by Guerrero going for the cover when the other man's down and out. It's what you have to do if you're not getting a knockout victory. If you're planning on winning by a pinfall or submission, you have to make sure the third man is not able to get involved. Into the turnbuckle goes Eddie. And look at the power of the great one with the electric chair. Going for the cover. The See, there you go, Rocky. Gotta, gotta follow what Guerrero's doing. On the on, yep, onto the shoulders, Cole. What I was about to say for the Samoan drop. Rock off the ropes and snap power slam. Cool. In the face, Cole. Really? You're killing me, Cole. Forearm to the spine and an inverted DDT taking Lesnar down. And Rock sending Guerrero to the outside. 
Lifting Lesnar up for the stun gun. Cover while Guerrero's on the outside. One, but Guerrero so quick. And Brock into the corner. Guerrero turning his focus to the beast. Oh, Japanese arm drag. Oh, going for the drop kick to the knee, but what a reversal by The Rock. Now sending Lesnar to the outside. Here we go, all three men. And they don't have to get back in the ring if they don't want to. Oh, ref almost gets taken down. The Rock gets inside his opponent's Shot to the face of the great one. The and now snap suplex on the outside. Oh, vicious strike to the face. Tossing Guerrero back into the ring. And oh, look at this. Lightning quick guillotine. But Rocky right there to break it up. Kick to the face of Lesnar. Dropping the elbow. Here comes Rock. No, Guerrero landing on his feet in the around the world head scissors. Latino Heat truly on fire tonight, and what power here! The gory special. But Rock breaking up the submission. Oh, the spine buster! Hooking the leg while Lesnar's down. One, two, and Guerrero with a shoulder up. Headlocked by Lesnar. And Rocky with a belly to belly. But Lesnar's German suplex. Fully confident as usual. Jesus Christ. I'm, sur I'm surprised Guerrero's head didn't just fly into the 15th row. Oh, shot to the face. Sending Rock into the corner. But Rock with a kick to the gut. Going for the clothesline. Lesnar with a beautiful reversal. Onto the apron goes the Beast. He has Guerrero cornered and has a kick to the back of the knee. Guerrero inverted DDT. Oh, didn't get all that clothesline, but it was enough going for the cover while Brock's woozy, but not enough to put Guerrero away. Eddie sending Lesnar to the outside, and here's Guerrero and Rock's chance. But no, Rocky sending Guerrero over the top. Go ahead, ref, get your ass out there. No, Eddie wanting to go back inside the ring. And Rock with a backbreaker. Snap there by Lesnar, Rock moving out of the way. Now sending Lesnar to the outside again, and there's a knee to the face. And Eddie Guerrero says, not this time. Guerrero caught by the rock. And back to the outside once again. Oh, Rock was going for the uh, people's punch, but knee strikes to the gut. This is just reversal after reversal, man. Into the turnbuckle goes the Beast. Rock turning his attention to Eddie. No. He doesn't know who to go after. Eddie it is. Snap suplex. Rock. Sending Rock into the corner. Shoulder tackles. Putting him down with a hammer fist. Arm wrench and clothesline. 
Zlock being very smart, just every chance he gets to send someone to the outside, that's what he does. The Rock loved to have fun inside that ring. Kick right to the Oh, Lariat. There's just a cluster fuck out there. Kick to the spine of Brock. Sending Rock to the inside. Kick right to the midsection. And Eddie now. Oh, face stretch. And of course, Rock sending Guerrero right back to the floor. Dropping the forearm. Oh, look at Rocky dragging screw to the beast. Eddie now, Jesus, inverted suplex. Uh-oh, Brock has Eddie. There's one. Two. And Lesnar with suplex city. Look at Rock trying to steal the cover from Lesnar. One, two, no. Lesnar not going to let that happen. Oh, Brock with the Kimura lock. But Rocky right there to break that one up. Lesnar going for the cover anyways. Another break up. And now Brock with the guillotine to Rock. But the great one. Jesus throwing Lesnar off of him clothesline. Lesnar on the apron. Shoulder tackle. Jesus, Brock with the roll up. One. But Eddie right there, man. And German suplex. Going for the Lariat, but Rock with the STO. He's got the shoulders down. Cover. One, two, no. These three men just will not go down. Good God, Eddie's getting a hell beat out of him. Spine buster for the knockout. Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. He's getting after it here. Who could forget this? Here is your winner, The Rock! Impressive and performance in by all ref, three ref, what are you doing? Ref, That's the kind of ref, you need to chill. The <laughs> and the great one with the victory the in the main well, event here tonight. Here, folks. We're just getting started. <laughs> And that was it for Raw is War Week 13. Remember, guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Brandy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for joining me here for Raw is War Week 13. And goodbye from Norway.